Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Facebook advertising campaign. This is uh, this video is kind of more towards beginner level people that have either not run a Facebook advertising campaign before, or maybe have but just don't really know their way around it, or just don't really know how to work the whole thing because it can be quite for someone that's not kind of ran a Facebook advertising campaign before. Having a look at the ads manager can be quite tricky. So. First of all, you want to do is go on to your Facebook page and on the top right where it says promote, hover your mouse over it and click on go to ads manager. I've already got the page set up here. So when you click on that, that link, it'll take you to this page. This page is your ads manager. This is where the, where everything happens. So up here you can see um, you've got all your different tools that you'll need for Facebook advertising, like creating audiences, your Facebook pixel, um, power editor etc. We're not going to go into that today. I've got other videos for that that you can go check out But this is your adverts manager once you start running campaigns You'll see that they come um, up here in this box here with all your different results and cost amount spent etc But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook advertising campaign So what you want to do is go to the top right here and click on create advert That will then take you to don't know why it's taking me there. It should take you to here, to your campaign level. It's because I've just created a, another video, so that's, that's why it came up like that. But this is where it takes you to. It takes you to choosing an objective. Now there's lots of different objectives that you can choose for your advertising campaign, like boost your posts, promote your page. You'd use this one if you want to um, boost the page likes on your page. Send people to your website, conversions. Those two are probably gonna be the most common. You've got installs. To your app, if maybe you've got an app on the, the iTunes store that you want people to download, um, and there's other ones here like get video views, etc. In this video, we're going to talk about sending people to your website because that's probably going to be the most common one that people will use. In fact, it is the most common one that people use, and if you're a beginner, that's probably the one that you're going to use anyway. So, you want to go and change your campaign name. I've called it YouTube Demo, although I might use this video on Facebook too. So, click continue. That will then take you to um, advert set. So this is where you're creating your, um, this is where you're targeting who you want your message to go to. Now, I just created a, a demo video about um, targeting people in Aberdeen, but we'll, we'll start a new one. So what we want to do, let's say we want to target people in the United States. So we'll go for that, and then on locations here, you can choose people who live in those location. You've got different options here. I typically tend to click on people who live in those location, but maybe your um, your business is different. So just have a think about who it is you're targeting and what would be the most appropriate. The number one thing here for targeting people on Facebook is knowing exactly who your audience is before you start kind of putting in the different things here. So you need to know exactly who your customer is. What age are they? What are they interested in? Um, are they male, female? Where do they live? That kind of information is vital for Facebook advertising because if you don't know who your customer is, you can't give them a specific message on Facebook and your Facebook advertising campaign will just not convert. So we're targeting people in the United States. Let's say we want to target 34-year-olds, um, 34 to to let's say 50. Uh, we want to target men and women, English speaking. And we want to target small business owners that are Facebook page admins. So you can see here, small business owners. Now actually that is going to target people that, that are either Facebook, ad, Facebook page admins or small business owners. We want to target people that are small business owners and Facebook page admins. So what I'll do there is have that box there as Facebook page admins and we'll click on narrow audience and we'll put small business owner in there. Like that. And you can see there's 98,000 of those. Now I'm just gonna talk you through the kind of, um, the targeting here for Facebook. So you can actually target people by pretty much any demographic interest or behavior that you can imagine. So if you know your ideal customer inside out, if you know what they're interested in, their age, their location, you can target them so easily on Facebook. In fact, you can target people down to one person. So you, if you know enough about one person, you could target an ad directly to them. And that is how powerful Facebook is. 
you, if you know exactly who your customer is, exactly what they're interested in, you can get the right message in front of them. And if it is the right message, they'll click on it and they'll buy your product down the line. So having a look at demographics, you can target people by pretty much anything here. Um, work, relationship, parents, life events, even things like financial, so their income, their net worth, if they're highly affluent or very highly affluent. Um, education, so what university or school they went to, what they studied, that kind of idea. Uh, you can also target people by interests, so things that they're interested in. And this can go as down as sports, car racing, basketball, uh, family relationships, interested in dating, marriage, motherhood. So you can really, really target people very specifically. Behaviors are things like, um, where are we? Financial, financial UK, financial services, considered changing back. Bank has loans, investments, investment types. So they've got ISAs, etc. So you can go that specific. And Facebook knows all this information from a very various different things, such as websites you visit, pages you like, um, content that you engage with on Facebook. They also have third party. Um, third-party data providers such as Experian and Axiom which they will pass the information on to Facebook. So if you go for a credit check and you don't untick that box, they'll pass the information on to Facebook which then lets you as an advertiser target people more specifically. Connections, this is things like people who like your page, friends of people who like your page. You don't need to worry about that too much unless you're kind of that is almost like boosting posts, but what you can do is you can say things like friends of people who like your page, add my page there. And that will target Facebook page admins, small business and Facebook page admins who are also small business owners in America and are friends of people who like my page. Then you go down here to placements and you can, it's typically set to automatic or recommended and that will let Facebook will choose where the best place to put your ad is. I typically go and choose my placements myself, and I typically go for, um, oh, I typically go for new desktop newsfeed and mobile newsfeed. But it, t it completely depends on your business and your your goals here. You can see Instagram is here, so if you want to create Instagram ads, you would have that one ticked. Then you're down to budget and schedule. I would, if you're a beginner, I typically recommend just leaving it at a daily budget uh, and run and run your advert set continuously starting from today as you can see here then I would just choose a small minimal amount such as five pounds a day and just let that run you don't have to worry about spending too much money because even if you do choose five pounds a day you could switch your ad off within you could switch your ad off five minutes after you after you placed it and you would have only spent a little bit of money so you can switch your ad on you can switch your ad off and on as you please. So even if your um, daily budget is set to five pounds, you don't necessarily have to spend five pounds a day because you could switch it on and off. Then you can go to optimization for advert delivery. Um, this is set to link clicks to your website because that was the objective that we chose, but you can also choose things like impressions where they'll deliver the advert to people as many times as possible or daily unique reach and they'll deliver your advert up to people to people up to once a day. I would typically just let, recommend leaving this as it is, especially at the kind of beginner level. Um, and once you've done that, you can click on continue. And that is your, your Facebook ad targeting budget and schedule all sorted. Then you're taken to the page where you design your ad. Now you can choose a single image or video in your ads, or you can choose a carousel ad where you've got up to five images in one advert. Both of them perform really well. It, it typically just depends on your audience and what I do recommend is that you just try and test them here. But I'll, for the sake of this video, I'll just go for a single image. Then you want to click on images and you've got different options here. You can click on browse library, which will show you images that you've used in your Facebook page already. You've got free stock images, which Facebook will provide. So you can just type in things around your industry or your, or your offering. So I'll just go for sports here. And, choose one of the images just for the sake of this video. So you just click on it, like so. Click on done, and you can see the image there. If you click on add more images, you can then upload from your computer. 
So when you're creating an ad, um, Facebook advertising campaign, I typically recommend that you maybe test three, four, five different images to see which ones convert with your audience better. You can see I've got two here, I'll just leave it as two for the sake of this video, but the more images that you upload here, the more images that you'll have here and you can just go. And what Facebook will do is when you click on place order, it will create multiple adverts with different images. Um, so creating the advert, you want to select your page. It's got the Gavin Bell one here. Put your website URL in here. It's already got bluefoothmedia.com. Your headline is going to be this text here. And you can change that to whatever you like. I typically recommend to capitalize the main words in the headline. The text box is the text that's going to be here. So I say YouTube, but it might also be on Facebook too. Hello. So you can put in whatever you like there and that will come up like so. Your call to action is this little button here and you can choose from a variety of different options here. You can just leave it to learn more or, or sign up depending again on what your advert is, what the purpose of your advert here. Your news feed link description is the text under your headline. So what this will typically do is it will pull the text from your website um, and it will add that there itself but you can change that to whatever you like. So you can see there, I've just deleted the text that was already there and it's pulled that text from my website. Display link, um, you can put that to whatever you like. I put it as limited availability depending on the ad, but you can put whatever you like and it will change the text here. Uh, for URL parameters, I wouldn't worry about Facebook Pixel. I've got other videos on my channel um, around Facebook Pixel. Have a look in the description, I'll put a link to it there where you can have a look at how to install a Pixel on your site. Since this is a demo account, I haven't installed a Pixel for this account. And here on the right hand side, you can have a look at what the, the ad looks like. So I've got it as a desktop newsfeed here. That's what it looks like on the desktop. On mobile newsfeed, that's what it would look like. For Instagram, audience network and desktop right column, I've switched those off. So the preview is not going to be available. And simply once you've done that, you click on place order. I'm not going to click on place order here because it won't let me because I've not actually set up this advert account properly. But you can have a, on the left hand side, you can see we chose our objective type. We then went and chose our audience through the targeting options. We chose where we want to place the ads. We chose a budget schedule. We came here onto this page and then created what the advert is going to look like. So that's just a beginner's guide on how to go through the Facebook advertising Facebook Ads Manager, setting up a campaign, uh, whether it's your first time or first couple of times, and I hope that's really been helpful. The thing with Facebook advertising is you've got to test. It's a big testing game, and you won't when you when you put an advert up live, you typically won't make any real sales or conversions straight away. Um, you kind of need to learn the system. You kind of need to. You need to, first of all, you need to learn the system. You need to learn how people react. You need to kind of know the psychology of people on Facebook as well because typically people will go straight for the kill and will try to make a sale straight away and that doesn't really work. Now, I've got a Facebook advertising blueprint which will really help speed up the process of you learning the Facebook advertising campaigns. Um, it's in the description below. You can click on the link and download that. It's a PDF that talks you through the kind of formula or blueprint that we use uh, and I use for my own business and my clients on how we actually make sales for them using Facebook ads. So that'll be really helpful if you just go and click and download that right now. It's totally free. Thanks very much for watching this video. Really hope it's been helpful. Um, leave a comment below, download the blueprint, uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.